So this is a video regarding tips for success in ACCA exams. I made this video for FA, which is the paper that I'm a tutor for in Seed Finance Academy. Thought uh, this can be extended to other exams as well. So let's start then. The first tip that I have for you guys is plan. You gotta have a plan. You have to know what you want and when you want it by. You have to have a strategy and a timeline. And the plan also needs to be realistic. Uh, realistic one, now let's say, so be students same one, right? We have different capabilities and there is no fixed number of hours to study. And you can study based on someone else's plan. Topaiko plan should be realistic to you. Topaiko have no capability on us. Topaile porno kati time lo on us. Topaile buzna kati time laksa. Tio sab mo din azar gore rafno plan bon on us. And plan motro bon ayar bani ke yun. You gotta have commitment. You gotta be committed to your plan and you gotta go through with it. And you also need to review your progress frequently. If you're falling behind, it just means that you will need to catch up by working harder in the coming days. And the last thing about the plan is, uh, please don't go overboard with your studying. Right? There needs to be a balance between studies, work, and life. The second tip. The second tip is use the uh, study resources that ACCA has provided for you. The thing about ACCA is ACCA does not want its students to fail. This is they have done their best to provide the students with the support mechanism needed for them to pass. So use it. Our resources are the key over but they like coilets on here, cosseries on here. So syllabus and study guide. You will say before starting your studies, actually is a porno wala. You will know what you can expect from the syllabus, the examinable topics, the exam structure, and also what the examiner wants you to learn. This is the other chapter of the study guide here knows to see whether you've achieved the objective and the learning outcome set out. And lastly, exam ko ek dui nagadi mani ek chori fir tela yeh no ala. Yose kino mani to see how well prepared and comfortable you are with the learning objectives, because at the end of the day, exam a test ko ne mani gay. They're just testing you ki to pa ila learning outcome or objective or like satisfy ko nonsa yon na. You know, and the other resource is specimen exam. You would say you have to use it under standard exam conditions to give you a feel of what ACCA exams look like. Yeah, let's say it puts your knowledge to test and gives you a sense of what you'll be asked to do in the exam. So use it right after finishing your syllabus. And the examining team guidance and reports. I examine the reports. So your resource, you have to use it. Uh, use it after completing your syllabus for the first time or your exam kit for the first time. It is a key or something. It's a key or context. It's a key. And the examiner is more about a key because it's a key. And the exam technique or a key is basically a key. It will help you get inside the mind of the examiner and it will help you understand what they expect from you and what the questions are trying to test and what some major word means. And it also lets you get inside the thinking process of the students that came before you. And you can learn from that. And the last resource is study support videos and technical articles. Uh, you would say, please, ek chori motar bhai bani, padi din ola, reyer din ola. Do it after finishing your syllabus for the first time and make note of things. Eh? Uh, note say tapai le bonon pasa kine ki technical article or study support videos ma tapai ko book mei boy ko kura ar hunsa bane hunna. So anything outside of what you've learned already, kine ki as I said, you syllabus sakke basi madre er no hai na. Tio se tapai le note kare ra rakhna pasa. Basically, what it does is it gives you a more well-rounded view of major topics, and also always make sure that you go through the technical articles at least once before appearing for the exams. And the last tip is on using study texts and exam kits. Please read the material actively. I always try to understand what, what they're trying to teach you and why they're trying to teach you and how you can use it in your own life, personal laws, your professional laws. And make sure you understand every topic. You can't pick and choose. And you can't do that in ACCA. And also, please remember, application triumphs everything it is not about what you know it's about what you can do with the knowledge that you have and you are a simple checklist money bonon okay kineki sabai janalai sabai gura first time me aunsa bhanne hunna haina 
and there will always be topics that we will feel comfortable with and there are always topics that we find hard ani garo topic cha bhanne ma telai chhodne ya ma yo pardina bhanne haina ke just means you got to work a bit harder on those topic areas so always have a list of tapai kun topic ma weak hununcha ra kun topic tapai le revisit garnu parcha tesko euta list banaunu and the other tip is uh, always try to read above and beyond the syllabus We're not just trying to pass an exam here, an ACCA board, an exam or something like that. We're trying to be a competent professional accountant. So as far as knowledge goes, the sky is the limit. So just read. And exam kit. Exam kit, I advise that you should go through as many questions as possible and not just once. You know, if you're going to read the exam, you should read it. Try and go through as many questions as possible repeatedly. And also, always have a checklist to revisit questions that topile garo lako ya topile wrong garnu bhayo ko and and arko tip bhaneko please exam kits all the hell say don't cheat and take note of what you got wrong and why you got it wrong kunai euta naya principle betaunu bhayo ra topile jun book ma lekheko thena ya topile yaad garnu bhayo thena take a note of that ani the logic that you used which was wrong take a note of that the logic that the examiner has used which is right take a note of that And if you see a pattern somewhere in answering questions, take a note of that. And you focus on the key words. You know, that I mean, the exam kit ma diye ko tari kali ra tio sab dalay. I mean, the answer koi lepan deh ma sab dalam. But it is a very good reference to know keyword or ke ke or kosi di lekhu parsa bani da. You know, so take a note of that. And answer kosi di gori kosa exam kit ma. Take a note of that as well. Any point topai le jun afli sos na sok nu na. Zoom the exam kit my dear, so take a note of that as well. So take a note of everything basically that can help you in answering similar questions in the future. Uh, even when I was a student, and I'd have half a copy full of notes of things that I got wrong, and he made a last-minute co preparation mark, which just included going through those notes, and it served me well. Hope it serves you too. So with that, I guess we're at the end of the video. Uh, some last-minute tips, eh? ACCA is as much mental and physical as it is a game of knowledge. So be confident. Tapai le abo my exam bigar su ani rechi no ani exam bigarin thani. So you know mentality is very very important. You gotta have confidence and confidence. Pande ma tapai le maine the no gari kono lamo exam se ramro din su ani. I'm not I'm not talking about that kind of confidence. I know. I'm talking about you just have to believe in your preparation. I'm talking about that kind of confidence. Mein not gornu, your tip or follow gornu, pornu ram ready, practice gornu, sabhi resources use gornu. Yes, toh ke tapai tor silu baaye wani pani. Na exam ko din ma tapai exam center ma pugnu bhela ma you're scared. Nothing changes if you're scared. See, I mean you're not getting any results by being less confident, and you're not you're definitely not getting any results by being fearful of the exam. So just be confident, trust in yourself, trust in your preparation. And the other thing is, please get enough sleep the night before the exams. Topai lo dui baje, tin baje, saal baje important ho gaye. Just to have a headache or feel tired and sleepy during the exam. So it's really not helpful at the end. I've been there, so take my advice. Don't do that. And that's that. So to sum it up, be fit mentally and physically. Follow your plan. Use the resources provided, and you're good to go. Wish you luck for the exams.